could use their skin as a breathing source and you do not want to suffocate them. So I'm going to be very quick and I did wash my hands prior to this. So this is not going to, 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 um, okay, I mean this. Hey guys, um, it's me back here with another video for you guys. In today's video, I promise I'm not going to make this intro super long, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys an intro and let you guys know that today I will be cleaning and sort of rearranging my Pac-Man Frog's enclosure because since I got him, he used to not eat um, because he was like in a huge tank. So I confined him down to a smaller critter keeper within that tank. And today I'm pretty much going to be dumping out all that uh, eco earth from his little critter keeper and dividing his 20 gallon in half and setting that up for him nicely. So yeah, like I said, it was just going to be a really quick intro and now we're going to get on into the video. Alright guys, so here is the final product, not product, result. Um, as you guys can see, the tank, this is a 20 gallon tank, and as you guys can see, it's not divided 100% equally. This side does have a bit more room, but I think as he gets a little bit bigger is when I will add or like give him a little bit more space. He just has some a thick uh, layer of the Eco Earth, which is just a coconut fiber. Then he has artificial plants in the corners of his tank, which I think make it look nice. And then obviously he has his heat pad here, which keeps his uh, tank very warm. And I, you guys saw me using this earlier, but this is just his Exoterra, or my Exoterra that I use to keep his tank humid. He will have this nice big water dish, which is not too deep for him, guys, by the way. That's why I'm not adding any pebbles or anything. But he can go in this and like bathe and whatnot. And yeah, I think he has like a nice area now. So I am using my bare hands, however, I was using gloves earlier. They were powder-free nitrile gloves. I recommend using those when handling amphibians because they do use their skin as a breathing source and you do not want to suffocate them. So I'm going to be very quick and I did wash my hands prior to this. So this is not going to... Um, okay, I mean this. This is not going to hurt him in any way. And here, okay, he just jumped right into his tank. How lovely. Uh, I was trying to show you guys him before he got eco earth all over him, but... <laughs> Alright, never mind. <laughs> there he is. He's so cute. He's like a little blob. They literally just are blobs with huge mouths. So 
So yeah guys, that was it for today's video. It was, uh, it was just like a simple cleaning video because I know you how much you guys really do enjoy watching me clean my pet enclosures. So let me know if you guys up here in the poll would like to see more um, Pac-Man Frog videos or more cleaning videos in general. Or what? No. Let me know if you would want to see more Pac-Man Frog videos. And I'll make sure I get that out to you guys. Don't forget that you guys can share this video with your friends and family and give this video a like to help it do better in these searches, as well as following me on Twitter and Instagram, which are just at Curtis the Same, just like my YouTube channel. That's all I have to say for today's video. Don't forget that you guys can also leave any video suggestions that you would want to see down below in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next one.